Fractions are a way of showing parts of something. And the parts can be the number of things in a group or parts of a whole. So fractions are all about parts. Firstly, we can look at parts of a group. So we have a group of sharks here. And if we circle two out of these group of six sharks, we can show that as a fraction by saying two over six or two sixths. So that's parts of a group of objects. The other option we can use a fraction for is to show part of a whole number. Parts of a whole. So here we have one whole rectangle. So one whole. But if we divide that rectangle up into four equal parts, and then we shade in three of those parts, this fraction is written as three fourths or three quarters. So three parts out of four equal parts. And we can do the same with the circle. So here, if we divide the circle up into three equal parts, and we shade in one of those three, this fraction is one over three, or one third. So three thirds was the whole, but we only have one third shaded in here. So fractions can be used for groups or for whole or for one whole number. And one way to think of fractions is it's always the part over the whole. So with our sharks, the part was two, two sharks out of the whole or the total of six sharks. And we give names to each of these numbers in maths. The top number that's showing the part is called the numerator. And the whole number at the bottom is called the denominator. So we can also use fractions to show more than one whole. So here we have two whole rectangles. And again, we'll divide them into four or into quarters each. So we have one whole and another whole. So we have two holes in total. And if we shade in all four quarters of the first one, so four quarters, that equals one whole. So one is the same as four quarters. But if we also shade in another one quarter down here, if we look at the total number of quarters that we've shaded in, we have five quarters shaded in. So we write this as five over four, five quarters. And this type of fraction that's greater than one whole is called an improper fraction. And you can see if the numerator is bigger than the denominator, we know that it's an improper fraction. So it must be the total number is bigger than one. And with improper fractions, there's another way that we can write them that means the same thing. And this is called a mixed number. And a mixed number, we need to think how many whole numbers do we have? So back at our example, we had one whole rectangle circled or colored in. So we have one whole. And how much else do we have extra? We have one quarter extra. So one and one quarter. And that's the same as or equal to five quarters. So to convert from an improper fraction to a mixed number, we need to think how many holes do we have? So in our five quarters, we know that four quarters equals one. 
and we had an extra one quarter left over. So one and one quarter. Lastly, we need to be able to estimate how big fractions actually are. And one way to do that is to put them on a number line. So here's a number line going from zero up to two. And let's put some fractions on that number line. So we always want to be thinking, is that fraction bigger than one or smaller than one, less than one? So one half, we know that that is less than one because the numerator is smaller. It's one half of the way between zero and one. The next one we'll do is one quarter. So if we split up one into quarters, into four sections, and we go one quarter of the way along, that's where one quarter is. So one quarter is smaller than one half. The next one we'll do is four fifths. So let's split up one into fifths this time. One, two, three, four, five. And if we go one, two, three, four fifths of the way along, that's how big four fifths is. And the last one we'll do is five thirds. So in this one, we're working in thirds. So we'll split up one into thirds. So we have one third, two thirds, three thirds. Three thirds is the same as one. So if we have five thirds, we know this fraction must be bigger than one. So we'll need to count an extra few thirds along and that will get us to five thirds. So one, two, three, four, five thirds is here, close to two.